Seven foods killing your weight loss goals. You will not believe number six. As a fitness trainer, the question of which foods are best for weight loss often comes up. There's a widespread belief that calorie counting alone is the golden ticket to weight loss. But if it were that straightforward, wouldn't we all be at our ideal weights by now? Good question. Our modern food environment is flooded with high energy, low protein foods. Consuming more energy that our body can use often leads to weight gain. Eggs. These are nature's multivitamin, rich in amino acids. They help repair muscle post-workout and keep you feeling full. Foods rich in essential nutrients and protein can make you feel fuller longer and prevent those energy crashes that lead us to overeat. A protein to energy ratio, which is explained by Dr. Ted Naiman's protein to energy ratio, emphasizes the balance between protein and energy. Foods with a favorable ratio can help muscle retention and fat loss. Salmon. Beyond its high protein content, salmon provides omega-3 fatty acids, which can decrease inflammation and regulate hunger hormones. Butter and ghee. For those practicing intermittent fasting or keto, they offer steady energy and help in fat adaptation. Leafy greens, one of my faves. These are fiber champions, aiding digestion and adding volume to meals without adding empty calories. Beef, it's not just protein rich. Beef provides essential nutrients like iron and B12 promoting energy and cognitive function. Avocados. This unique fruit offers monosaturated fats, helping control your appetite and promote fat burn. Quinoa, a complete protein and an excellent carb choice for those aiming to keep their glycemic index in check. So the seven foods that might hinder your progress. Pop or soda, no kidding. These drinks are calorie traps with zero nutritional benefits, spiking insulin levels. Potato chips, their high salt and fat content can lead to overconsumption often without realizing it. Bread and wheat-based products. Even if it's whole grain, moderation is key. Excess can lead to blood sugar swings and cravings. Processed cereals, what we all grew up on. While they're marketed as breakfast champions, many are sugar bombs in disguise. Store-bought fruit juices. Stripped of fiber and loaded with sugars, they can disrupt your hunger cues. Number six on this list, alcohol, particularly cocktails and sweetened beverages, which pack on calories and can reduce your body's ability to burn fat. Frozen desserts and ice creams, some of our favorites, right? Loaded with sugar, artificial flavorings, and often unhealthy fats. They might satisfy momentarily, but aren't great for long-term weight loss goals. Even if it says keto-friendly, if you're not on keto, it's not good for you. Weight loss is not just about foods. It's a holistic approach involving sleep, stress management, and consistent exercise. Focus on nourishing your body and the weight will take care of itself. I'd love to hear your experiences and any questions in the comments below. So remember, it's a journey and every step counts. Until next time, please stay motivated.